am Varsha and you are watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about types of proportion. But before moving to our today's topic, we will try some warm up questions. Here are the questions for you. To try these questions, you can pause the video. So basically in question number 1, you need to find out the value of x. It is 36x equals 240. So we can divide both the sides by 36. This will give x as 20 over 3 which we can represent as 6 holes 2 thirds. Now the next question is we need to find out the missing number which is 9 to 72 that is 9 times 8 is 72 so 8 times 8 is 64 so the answer is 64. Now we move ahead to the topic which is about types of proportions. So basically there are two types of proportions. Direct proportions and inverse proportions. So the term direct proportion means that two quantities increases or decreases in the same ratio. For example, say it's speed and the distance. In a given time, the time is same. So if the speed increases, we can cover more distance. But if the speed decreases, we will cover less distance. So we can say that speed is directly proportional to the distance. And this is what we called as the sign of proportionality. So even if we want to remove the sign of proportionality, we can write speed equals k times display distance. So this k is called as the proportionality constant. There is another example about time and age. So if the time increases, the age increases. If the time decreases, the age decreases. So we can say that time is directly proportional to the age. Now we move ahead and there is an example for you. And the example says if you are paid $20 for one hour, then how much you will be paid for three hours? So for one hour, you are paid $20. So for three hours, how many? how much amount will be paid. So it's like x equals 3 times 20 which is x equals 60 dollar. So we can say that earning is directly proportional to the time. Now the next question is an electric pole is 14 meter high cast a shadow of 10 meter. Find the height of the tree that cast a shadow of 15 meter. So we can work out on this and we can find the value of x. So that would be 14 times 15 over 10 equals x. So this is like it's 5 here and 7 here. Now it's 3 here. So the answer is x is 21 meters. That means the height of the tree is 21 meters under similar condition. Now we move ahead about inverse proportion. So the term inverse proportion means that the one value decreases at the same rate the other value increases or the vice versa or we can say that if the one value increases at the same rate the other value decreases. For example speed and time. Say if speed increases we will take less time to complete the journey but if the speed decreases that will take more time to complete the journey. So we can say that speed is inversely proportional to the time and we represent it in this way. And we can write it like speed equals k times 1 over time. And k is a constant of proportionality. There is another example which says that the, fo the farther away we are from the light the less bright it is. So if the distance increases the brightness decreases and if the distance decreases the brightness increases. So we can say that this is an example of inverse proportion. Now we move ahead to the question. Here is a question which says that four people can paint a fence in three hours. So how long will it take th six people to paint it? The same fence but now the number of people is increased. So that means if the number of people is increased obviously the time will be decreased if they are working on the same pace. So that means this is about inverse proportion. 
so as we know that p2 is inverse proportion is in the inverse proportion with the time so we can say that p2 equals k over time or we can say t is the number of people and or we can say t as a time and n is the number of people and k is the sign of proportionality or we can write it in this way people equals k over time whichever way you like the most so it's people is 4 equals k over 3 this will give us a value of k as 12 the other is about 6 people equals k over time we need to find out so we can say that the time is t so 6 equals 12 over t which will give us the value of t as 2 hours so the answer is 2 hours or there is another way to find the to solve the answer of the, to solve the question which is 4 times 3 equals 6 times t which will give us a value of t as 2 hours so this is an alternate method to solve the same question now we move ahead to the practice questions here are the questions for you to try these questions you can pause the video now here are some more questions to try these questions you can pause the video again now you can match the answers from here and you should pat your back as you're working really good in understanding the different types of proportion Thank you for watching the video for more please visit justutors.com